The Panasonic BGS-1 battery grip is compatible with both the S1 and the S1R. Let's show you some of the features of the grip and also show you how to use the menu system so that you can control which batteries use first, either the one that's in the camera body or the one that's in the grip. So first, you're gonna to need to take this off. This covers the pins to make sure they don't get damaged. Second, because the camera's weather sealed, there's a gasket over the contact points here. We need to remove the gasket. Obviously now the camera's not weather sealed, but once we mount it to the battery grip, it'll be sealed again. So where do we put these items once we've taken them off the camera? Well, you can go ahead and put the gasket inside of the pin cover, and that'll keep it safe. And then in the battery grip, we give you a place to store it. So you just click it right in place, and now it's stored. Now let's go ahead and mount the grip. So you're just going to align it for the tripod mount. We turn this wheel, and that'll tighten it onto the camera. Finally, make sure we turn on the grip. That way it's powered up. We'll power the camera on. Now, let's go ahead and go into the menu and show you how you can optimize the batteries so that you can determine which one's going to be used first. So first we go into the camera's menu. From here, we need to be into the spanners or the wrench. And from this point, we're in the in and out menu, which is the one that looks like a Wi-Fi setting. From here it says battery grip, and right now it says BG, which means the battery grip is going to be used first. If we select body, what that means is we're going to use the battery in the body first, and then it'll start using the one in the grip. We recommend keeping it on battery grip though, and, and here's why. So as I'm using the camera, what will happen is as the battery dies here, I'm able to open up the battery compartment. I can go ahead and remove the battery, and you see it didn't interrupt the recording or the operation of the camera. I can then put a new battery in, and then the camera will switch back over to the battery grip. And that's the new battery grip for the S1 and S1R.